What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be going over the New Year's events that just dropped in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, as you can see on the screen here, I've already purchased every single one of the Happy New Year's bundles, as well as the uh, the Divine Inheritance upgrade for the Lucerne Scrolls. We'll talk about Lucerne Scrolls as well. Let me just let me just heal these calves real quick. Okay, this is important. All right, this is important, guys. We still have the Reese's uh, Christmas trees that I was eating during the the ruins fights. Everybody knows. Everyone knows the Christmas trees. The holiday the holiday Reese's are so much better than the regular Reese's I don't understand I love regular Reese's but seriously these are way better not sponsored by the way these were 70% off at Target guys if you love Reese's get them at a discount right now these are the best this is the best part of the year anyway we have a lot to go over in this video we're gonna open up over 200 fireworks and we'll talk about the bundle and the value in just a second but I wanted to take a moment guys Happy New Year, wherever you guys are in the world, if you're celebrating a new year right now, I know that this isn't a new year for every country in the world, but Happy New Year to you if you do celebrate. I know uh, lately, the past couple of months, I would say ever since around September, I have uh, been less active on YouTube and certainly haven't streamed at all. And I just wanna thank you guys for bearing with me during this time. Full disclosure, this entire period has been more of a mental health thing for me. Uh, and I, I'm not really ashamed to talk about that. Sometimes we just go through stuff and it makes it really hard to uh, you know, focus on things that you're passionate about or things that you know you should be doing but that you just can't find the energy to do so yeah that's where i've been i've just been focusing on that and it's always going to be a battle into the future but i'm really trying to start making more content uh more regularly like i used to do despite my work schedule being crazy work hopefully will be slowing down a little bit now that the holidays are over so again i just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with me during this time happy new year I wish you all the best and I really appreciate uh, every single one of you who watches a video or comments or leaves a thumbs up or says hi to me on Discord or in game when you realize that I'm in your KVK and you say, hey, that's Omniarch. I really appreciate all of you and you guys have made my 2020 really incredible. So thank you. Anyway, with all that rambling aside, let's talk about some of the events here, okay? So we have the fireworks display. This is an event that we've seen before. There's multiple events every year where there's a fireworks display. Whoever ignites the most fireworks at the end, I think it's a three or four day event, you get this number one prize, 20 universal sculptures. These prizes are going to be for the people who are willing to max purchase the bundle, as well as grind out a lot of forts and everything like that, because the way that you get those fireworks is from the light up the night event and you can get fireworks uh from helping your alliance making courier station purchases training troops and defeating barb forts so as you can see here you can get a maximum of 10 fireworks from helps courier station training troops and then it looks like you get an unlimited amount of uh of fireworks from barb forts so if you really want to win this event here one you'll probably have to max purchase that bundle and two you'll have to just be grinding forts for the next couple of days i guess three days and 22 hours and that's how you're going to win these 20 legendary commander sculptures is this worth an event to you know is this event worth like losing sleep over I don't know maybe uh if you got nothing to do for the next couple of days go ahead and go for it you also can get fireworks from the protect the supplies event as you can see here i don't think i've even done this event in this in this kingdom uh but you can get 12 fireworks from completing this uh on what is this the medium difficulty i actually am not a fan of this event i just don't like the way that it functions i find it very chaotic to deal with randomly spawning enemies and i feel like your success in this event depends on where the enemies spawn right so i'm not a fan of it but it is a way to get some nice goodies here and i definitely recommend at least doing it for these fireworks because you'll see some of the cool things that you can get from them and that's pretty much it those are the those are the holiday events here for new year's we just had a ton of events for christmas they just ended they're not even on the calendar anymore uh that was a much bigger event for christmas but this is a cool little thing that you can do just for the new year now if we take a look at the bundle you can only buy the top tier bundle one time for this happy new year event probably because this is actually uh, linked to the event itself 185 fireworks from max purchasing this bundle roughly one firework per dollar that you spend now this bundle does have less speed ups than other bundles that are that come with the holidays however that's due to the fact that you get these fireworks and these fireworks have some rng to them because you don't know what you're actually going to get you could get resources you could get eight hour speed ups things like that now 
you may get research speed ups, which you don't need. So this isn't necessarily a muddle, a bundle that I would recommend to everybody, but I thought it would be fun to open all the fireworks here on a video. And that's why I went ahead and purchased it. Plus, as you can see, I'm running really low on gems. And so I really had to make that purchase. <laughs> Honestly, the Guan Yu wheel is coming up and I'm just basically hoarding all my gems for that because I really want to invest in Guan Yu and I don't want to use all my legendary commander sculptures because I do have quite a lot of them saved up already. I think I have Guan Yu unlocked somewhere. I'm getting off track. Before we open the fireworks, let's talk about Lucerne Scrolls because this did pop at reset. I did buy the divine inheritance. And the reason for that is because of a very exciting, actually, let's, let's take a look at this. What is this golden war helm? That sounds really cool. Hang on. Hold the phone here for a second. Let me see if I can get a preview of that. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That looks very like uh, Roman to me, which is, which is pretty badass. but I it's, it's similar to other ones that we have here, like the Tumi or the one that I'm currently using. I think it's a little bit better, which is the gold frame. But regardless, if you don't have those, this is a, a really cool thing that you can get from the divine inheritance. So definitely worth considering at least if you like that I'm sure there'll be a frame yeah there's a frame here as well let's see what that frame looks like why don't we right now that's actually pretty cool that looks like Scipio's uh war helmet which is really really cool so I like that I think that's pretty sweet probably better than the than the name plaque but those are not the reasons that I went ahead and upgraded the reason is for Cape of the War God this is a really cool legendary blueprint that we get here now we also get the friendly fish pond at the same time so a little bit of Zen with your war cape love that life's about balance right anyway uh this is a new legendary before in the previous lucerne scrolls we did have shio's uh, boots return what is it called again was it shio's return yes shio's return which to me is actually a much more exciting piece of equipment because it's infantry defense which is definitely something that i am interested in the reason that i'm not as interested in this is because one it's archer attack so the troop type that i care the least about and the stat that i care the least about and it's a legendary leg piece so first off cape is this a cape it doesn't look like a cape to me it looks like you took a cape and you wrapped it around your waist like a towel when you get out of the shower coolest looking towel ever if this is what that is but regardless legendary legs take more pieces of material than boots right so you look at shio's return over here it takes 40 legendary materials where if you take a look at the cape of the war god you're looking at 60. so it's going to be a much larger investment 50 percent more in fact 50 percent more materials from shio's to cape of the war god and to me it's a piece that i'm probably not going to use but if i'm not mistaken when you combine 30 pieces of legendary blueprint fragments into a completed blueprint i believe there's a five dollar bundle that pops that does give you some legendary materials i think this is the equipment version of the you know like when you summon a legendary commander and you get the five dollar bundle with the 10 legendary heads i'm pretty sure it's the same thing with the blueprint fragments so what that means is if you even if you're not going to use this war cape for your waist for your archers um it is once you combine those 30 pieces that you get from the divine inheritance uh you will have the option of spending five dollars to get uh, a really good deal really good value on your uh legendary materials now of course if you're free to play that doesn't matter so it is what it is however also if you're free to play then you're not going to be spending money on the lucerne scrolls so it is what it is if you're an archer player then perhaps this is an interesting thing to go with but maybe not because there is in fact even uh, a set right isn't there a set for archers that gives you like even more stats yeah the revival set here gives you a four piece bonus so i don't know maybe you won't even use this uh, i'm not really sure but one thing's for sure i'm glad it's not shio's return again and it looks really cool and it'll give you the option to get some materials for a cheap cost now let's take a look at the new city hall skin that comes with the lucerne scrolls it's called royal manor a plus on the name i think it looks awesome it's also archer oriented so we're seeing a lot of archer oriented things here you also get edward emotes from divine inheritance which is an archer commander we also saw the light latest legendaries introduced into the game are archer commanders so lots of archer stuff going on right now it's archer season baby if you guys like archers now's your time to shine regardless royal manor i think it actually looks very elegant very regal a city skin that i wouldn't mind using i think it looks awesome the beautiful gardens on the side with the little butterflies and everything 9.5 out of 10 no let's be realistic this is a this is a 9 out of 10 this is a 9 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 would be something like this regardless it's archer health cavalry defense is what you're losing and 
honestly, Archer Health is the best stat that you would want for Archers. However, there are some other skins that already give you Archer Health. For example, Moment of Celebration. This is a recent skin, actually. You get this from the 2020 anniversary event. So if you played the game during its second year anniversary, you may have the Moment of Celebration skin, which, hey, I think this doesn't look that great. Honestly, I don't really like this. I don't like all the lights and the balloons and the bubble. I, I don't know. I don't really like how this looks. Um, however, you're losing infantry attack. So I think technically this is a better skin than the one that you're currently able to get from Divine Inheritance, but it doesn't look as good. Uh, you also, if you played during Mother's Day of 2019, you would have the No Place at Home skin, which gives you Archer health, but you lose Cavalry health. So I think this is actually probably the worst of them. And it looks, I mean, to me, this is just not a skin I would use unless I had to. So of all the skins we just looked at, I think this one looks the best, but realistically, you don't need it, especially if you're not an Archer main, right? Thank God I got another Dragon Lancer. Oof. Anyway, without further ado, let's open up all these fireworks. I actually got one while I was recording this video. So we have 208 fireworks to open. Let's open the first eight as uh, just individual, just to see what we get, right? And then we'll open all of them. We'll just hit the open all for the 200 and we'll be good, okay? So let's go ahead and hit Ignite. And what do we get for the first one? We got a three hour speed up. So if you guys are keeping track, start writing this down, okay? If you wanna see the value uh, of the 185 that I paid money for open up another one uh 112,000 stone i don't need stone right now as you can see um we got a one hour speed up so that's not very exciting right there we got some wood i desperately need wood right now no pun intended hey no pun intended we got stone i don't need stone research speed ups that's probably the worst thing for a t5 player so if you are max purchasing this bundle just be aware that you could be investing in research speed ups right so keep that in mind terrible um let's do this again we'll see another come on man seriously See, 2021 this is this is the 2021 event okay you really gonna do this to me 2021 we're gonna start like this really let's open up another one we got more stone so stone and research speed ups the two things i really don't need <laughs> all right let's do the ignite all and then we'll get a better idea of on average what are you really looking at right so let's go ahead and hit ignite all yes i'm sure boom there it is okay so we got a ton of building speed ups come on man what what am i gonna do it does it look like i need to build anything okay okay ton of building speed ups ton of research speed ups a lot of garbage in here all right a lot of a lot of a lot of booty this is not this is not good but we will be using the training speed ups 100 we need those obviously the teleports i've got plenty of teleports but always you're gonna need those right we got some action point potions in here so that's interesting i have no shortage of action point potions either four gold keys also not that great i obviously need mulan uh and i also haven't expertise a lot of the legendaries in there like el cid and mehmed and julius caesar and things of that, that nature so it is what it is we do have some gold in here which is interesting ultimately ultimately is it worth a max purchase of this bundle i would say probably not right probably not and again you're not going to get three of those golden chests right you're only going to get one so realistically it's probably not the the bundle that you max purchase but I was curious to see what are we going to get from this we did get the universal speed ups too which for me are basically training speed ups so that is pretty good just for fun let's open these gold keys let's see what, what technically this would be value right okay so there we go technically i got two legendary commander sculptures out of that bundle so there we go we got the two memets um what else did we get in here oh thank gosh a tomo oh my god yes amazing what else what else any other legendaries no we're not gonna do that okay cool i got i, I got a med summon earlier today and of course it wasn't like on video but you know hey i'll take the two we're still so far away at least i'm number one okay at least i'm number one that's not gonna last everyone in my alliance buys stuff i know i'm not gonna be number one but it's cool to look at for now i got it on footage okay i got it on footage on the best momentarily you also get this really cool animation of your fireworks going off over your city which is a cool way to celebrate 2020 coming to a close guys that is going to do it for this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below telling me what you think about the new year's event do you think they could make it a little bit better or, or are you cool with it being pretty chill because we just came off of like a whole bunch of events for the wintry day as always my social media links are going to be in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord twitch everywhere 
it's all in the description below and finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms and honestly i experience fewer crashes on this program than i would on an older phone like i said it's absolutely free to try it out so make sure you click that link in the description below and give it a chance with that being said guys thank you so much for watching i wish you a happy and blessed 2021 this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace